Okay, I'm here with Martin Dunn from the Sunderland Post ahead of the Cream of the Crop show on November the 30th at the Rainton Meadows Arena. Mm -hmm. Martin, is there any particular fighters on the bill that you're really looking forward to see at the moment? Yeah, I think everyone looks forward to seeing Glenn Foot. Um, whenever there's a show in the North East, it's always someone that I think everybody looks out for, especially in Sunderland. Um, Glenn's a really, you know, interesting, exciting fighter to watch. Um, we see him in the prize fighter, we know how hard he can punch, yeah. we know how hard he can hit, we know what he's all about. But also I think Glenn's a, a really good technical boxer, he's got a really good coach in Dave Binns who works really hard with him. Um, so I think that'll be a one to watch for yeah. fans. Um, Johnson McClump is another one. Um, I think Johnson's quite underrated as a boxer outside of sort of his area, you know, yeah. his, his gym. Um, I know yeah, Dave rate, rates him really highly, I know Phil Jeffrey rates him really highly as well. Um, and so do I, um, simply because he can win fights. No matter what sort of fight it is, if it's a brawl, he'll brawl. If it's a technical fight, he'll, he'll outpunch somebody. It's a well, really good one. I remember last year's fight with uh, Andrew Buchanan. Yeah. For me, that was, if not the, it was certainly one of the fights of the year, and that was only a sick round. Yeah. I was hoping for like, a Northern Area title rematch so we could actually see them in the fight again. But, I mean, Andrew Buchanan's been, since he came back, been fantastic. So Johnson did what he had to do. He rose to the occasion yeah. on that one as well. Yeah. I think with, with Johnson, like I say, he can win any sort of fight. Um, since he fought Buchanan in that show, uh, I think we were sitting together, Phil, yeah. we said, can we not go for another six rounds? <laughs> <No. after that?" laughs> yeah. So I think that was, that was really good for Johnson to get into that sort of fight as well. Um, I'm just really looking forward to seeing him again. So we've also got the Ward brothers on there. Mm -hmm. Obviously, at different stages of the career, obviously Martin just fought for a world title. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And according to Phil Jeffries and a few other guys, including Scott Quigg, mm -hmm. um, the future is looking very, very bright for Tommy at 20 yeah. years old. Yeah, I mean Tommy's one to watch for everybody, not just you know his camp or his his fans. Mm -hmm. Tommy's one to watch for everyone. I do think he will follow in the same footsteps as Martin. Um, Martin's obviously a, a brilliant, brilliant fighter. It all started for him here at the Vinton Meadows as well. Um, but I think with with Tommy, it's something else. It's something different. Um, Tommy, like Johnson McClumford, is one who can win any sort of fight as well. Um, he'll go a long way, if you ask me. He'll, he will go a long way. I can see him fighting for, for titles, uh, maybe even next year, maybe the year after, but it's, he's got to get it right. And I know he's got a brilliant coach and Neil Fannin behind him, yeah. um, who will make sure he's getting it right. He's, he's done everything right with Martin Ward. Now it's Tommy's turn to really step up and, and sort of come out of Martin's shadow a little bit. Because when Tommy started, it was all about Martin's brother, Martin's Tommy. younger brother. Yeah, we're now... It, uh, Martin will hate us for saying this, but it's all about Tommy's brother Martin at the minute because Tommy's yeah. the one that's coming through. Tommy's making the noise in the North East and hopefully Tommy will make the noise around around England and eventually further afield. Well, obviously, but there's got to be a lot of frustration for Martin. He's been out of the ring for nearly nine months now or yeah. it will be by the time he gets back in the ring after... I mean, you get your world title fight, yeah. everything's there and then second round eye injury, mm. which you just couldn't continue with. Yeah, I, I, we were, good for, we were good for Martin, everyone was in the North East um, and you know, preparations were fantastic, Neil Fannin had him absolutely spot on, he was, he was more than ready um, and it was devastating for him, I've spoken before the press conference today, um, spoken to him since the show and it's about getting it over, for, about getting over it now for Martin um, and I think this will be perfect, this show will be perfect and Phil's done a great job to get him on um, and, and give him that opportunity just to get back in the ring. He's going up a weight as well, as he's got to suit a bantam. He has, yeah, and I think that'll do a lot for him. Um, I think it'll work in his favour as well. You know, he was always at the top of his game um, in bantam weight. He was always, the, obviously, the best fighter. Um, not the best in the world, clearly. But yeah. I think with suit a bantam, it will give him that extra. Because he can punch as well, man. Yeah. And I think that'll give him that little bit extra to win fights. So, obviously, not just from the, the 30th of November, we've got like, two big shows at the end of the month. Mm -hmm. and. I mean, we've been covering boxing for a while yeah. in the region now, and it's still on the on the upward trend with that. Yeah, I think everyone forgets about the North East, not just in boxing, just in general. Um, but North East boxing is is amazing for me. Um, it, you've got the likes, not even the lads who are on this show as well. You know, you've got Anthony Nelson, Lee Mould, Tom Whitfield from the Malgate stable. But yeah. then you've got the Corps down in Hartlepool, Peter, Danny. You've got Anth Hardy who trains down there. Um, loads of lads from around the little areas who you think, well, they'll be on a show, they'll be on a show, and you see them progressing as fighters, you see them coming on as, yeah. as, as people as well. Um, they take that into the ring, they win fights, all of a sudden they're fighting for an English title or for an area title, and it's great for the North East. You, you're going to see more champions come from the North East. Anthony Nelson's just won an English title there and will go far. Um, 
Craig Dixon, who's from Gateshead, he takes on Lee Mould for an area title. That'll be a it'll cracking be, fight. It'll be a great fight. Um, I wouldn't like to call a winner. I'm, 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 I was thinking about pressing <laughs> you for that one, but I thought, no, start, no, yeah. no, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll be nice to you. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't like to call a winner for that one, but it will You be wouldn't like fight. to, but if I had to press oh, you... Oh, so you are going to press me, <laughs> right? <laughs> I, just, I just changed my mind. Yeah, um, if I had to... It all depends on. Uh, I'm, I'll, I'll oh, save you. I'll okay. save you because I know you know both lads, <laughs> yeah, and I know you get on with us. Yeah, yeah. I'll rescue you. I'll go a draw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're getting blisters on your bum there, Martin. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So, in terms of, I mean, Eddie Hearn was up last week. Mm -hmm. um, Sky have announced the signing of Bradley Saunders. Yeah. So we're going to be getting some more Sky shows up here as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if Eddie Hearn's bringing boxing up here, we know Joshua's going to be fighting up here in April. Yeah. You're going to have a lot of North East fighters who are really clamouring mm -hmm. to get on that April 4th show. Yeah. So it's the two shows at the end of the month and the subsequent mm -hmm. shows over the next few months mm -hmm. are the ones where people are going to have the chance. Yeah. Well, like you, like you said in the press run. conference, Phil, it's, it's a chance for fighters to show that they've got, you know, the skills to take forward. Um, with Sky coming up, I think Eddie's done, you know, it's, it's a great thing for the North East. Um, but that doesn't undermine the, the work that Phil Jeffries has done. Far from. You know, Phil's... Phil's picked up a lot of pieces where there was things that were broken in North East boxing. It's always been Phil at the end of it. Um, and with, you know, Joshua coming up and fighting in the North East and Bradley actually, it seems as if he's come back to the North East. Mm -hmm. um, that just inspires more boxers to, to go on and, and do things like Bradley has. And I know that, like we've just said, the boxers who are in the North East now, they will look up to that show and think, I want to make my name on yeah. that. I want to be on that show. So people know who I am and people know what I'm all about. And th this is a massive opportunity. The next sort of six months is huge for boxing in the North East, I think. I think so as well. Well, Martin, we shall be covering that yes. together. And I'll see you at the yeah. show on the 30th. Definitely, Phil. Thanks Cheers, so much. Mate. Cheers.